How's the wind? That's always my uh, question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the wind today, that's kind of what's, I won't say it's ruining it because it's still a yeah. lovely day and right. it's still really good for March. But coming off of the heels yeah. of that, the stretch of 60s <laughs> yeah. and 70s, you know, it's still it's feeling a little cool out there for us today, especially closer to the lakefront where we do have temperatures that are in the 40s. Now, previously today, we hit a high of 49 at the Chicago lakefront. Right now, we're sitting in the lower 40s, so definitely a little bit cooler because of that northeasterly wind coming in off the lake that at times is gusting over 20 miles per hour. It's uh, We had a high temperature of 50 at Midway, 53 in Joliet, same thing in Morris, 54 in LaSalle, 51 in Woodstock. DeKalb came in at 52. And it uh, looks like Northwest Indiana, for the most part, upper 40s to low 50s, 50 in Valparaiso, and 47 is what we made it to in Merrillville. So your five-day forecast here, typically for this time of March, average is 43. So again, our temperatures today were lovely, and that's pretty much what we have on tap here through the rest of this work week. Over the weekend, we're going to be in the mid to upper 40s and then jumping to near 60 for your high on Monday and taking a look at the temperature outlook for beyond Monday. This is the temp outlook from uh, Tuesday through Saturday of next week, which is the 12th through the 16th. And we are strongly favored during that time frame to see above average temperatures again. So most of next week is looking like we're going to be in the 50s and the 60s. So another above average week ahead of us. Satellite and radar, things are quiet right now. We have mostly clear, calm conditions out there further to our west. You can see a little bit more in the way of cloud cover. And that's going to start to build in throughout the overnight hours tonight. So we will see a mostly clear conditions becoming partly cloudy. And then eventually tomorrow, we're going to really kind of cloud things up across the region. So future cast taking us through tonight. No precipitation to be concerned about. This model's really still trying to bring in a couple sprinkles tomorrow morning. I'm still not overly concerned about that. I think our rain chances are going to be holding off until Thursday evening, Thursday night, and then continuing into Friday. But tomorrow morning, I do expect to be waking up to some cloud cover. We'll have partly sunny conditions through the day by about 9, 10 p.m. You see how this rain's getting a little bit closer to us? So we start to see this moving across the region late Thursday into Friday. So by Friday morning, we're likely at the very least going to have scattered light rain showers around. But do you see all these pockets of heavier rain as this low pressure system gets a little bit closer to us? So some heavy downpours are certainly going to be possible at times through the day on Friday. So multiple rounds of showers are going to be possible. This will finally make its way out of here early on Saturday. But for those of you in the cross the south suburbs, northwest Indiana, you may be starting off with some rain on Saturday morning before we can dry things out. Right now, here's the view. It is gorgeous, 46 degrees. We have 13 mile per hour sustained winds. That's enough to bring wind chill temperatures down to about 40. Tonight, we're dropping down to the mid 30s, but keep in mind, average low temperature for this time of the year is the upper 20s. So we're still doing pretty well tonight. Seven day forecast tomorrow, 52 warm further inland. The warmer you will be away from the lake because of that northeasterly breeze. And then Thursday night into Friday, we have rain returning to the area 100% chance of rain. All of us are going to see it on Friday. Lingering into Saturday morning. After that, we're drying things out. And the rest of the weekend, it looks good. We are back to 60s next week. Keep it here. We'll have more local news and weather coming up.